This is real life. This is the word of God from the Apostle Paul, from Timothy, from Jesus Christ himself. When you work with your hands, you're not dependent on anybody. You work, you get paid, you pay your bills, you've got money in excess. You bless the body of Christ, those in need. Amen. If you've got masses of money, then you can bless those who are not in Christ well. Amen. And that is not talking about your tithe. That is talking about a separate free will offering that you give on top, above your normal tithing, which you give to your regular church where you attend. And that's how it should be. Amen. Now, tithing's not a law because I heard it right then. I heard your thoughts. You said, my timing, it's not even mentioned in the Bible. Well, no, it's not. There used to be a temple tax, and it's not meant to be. It's not a law for the New Testament believers. But God expects a cheerful giver. You know, if you expect God Almighty to bless your life, why shouldn't you give? Why shouldn't you give your 10% to the church? The 10% came from the temple tax in the Old Testament. We don't need to give. But you know, churches, they've got bills, they've got salaries. You know, a pastor preaches the word. He takes care, he shepherds the congregation, or that's what he should do. He deserves to be paid a salary. He deserves to have his expenses met. He deserves to be taken care of, just like you. And the church has got bills like electricity and this. And when when you have your coffee and your cake and your, your biscuit and your sandwich, it all costs money. So it's good to give if you've got it to give. It's very, very good. So if you're physically able, you should live a quiet, peaceful life, earn a salary or in your own business, make a lot of money, give some to the church, bless the brethren who are in need and live a happy life, which is a life of sanctification and holiness, which will persuade those who don't believe to start to listen to the holy word of God.